Because I'm the type of person, I got to be making stuff. If I'm not making something, I'm just not happy. What's up, everybody? My name is Matthew Stratton with MatthewCreating.com. Yo, I just recorded like a video that I was going to put at the beginning of this vlog, but I think I want to release it as a separate video because I'm on to something and I want you guys to come with me. So I'm gonna put that in as its own video because it's delivering a specific idea. But today is Wednesday, all right? I'm going to go ahead and take you through my day. Now I wanna record at least three different videos today and then I have editing to do. I have about 10 videos on my hard drive to edit and then I have like eight videos that I recorded that I'm not even gonna be able to actually edit for various reasons, but you know, as part of the game, is part of you know living and learning. You win some, you lose some, you win, you fail. You gotta live, you gotta learn, and stay moving forward. But today, what I wanna do is I wanna actually do an unboxing video, and then I'm going to do a Matthew creating music episode, and then I wanna do a recording where I can actually record um, a sample for a collaboration video that I'm doing with somebody, um, a specific YouTuber here. And then I'm going to do a crap load of editing the next two days. I don't even think I want to be able to do any kind of video recording after today because I have literally like 10 videos that I need to edit <laughs> because I've been going on a rampage the last week. Recording, 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 recording videos, trying to get everything set up in my room here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you something that I'm trying to get set up. Um, I want to take you into the other room where my NPCX is. And listen, yo, I have a lot of stuff. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Like, you have to have all this stuff to make music. You really only need a couple things to make music. And um, if you want, I'll link a video and a card about getting started with making music in a home studio. So check out that video. I kind of break down what you need to get started. I have a bunch of extra stuff. You don't need all this extra stuff. I just want to put that out there because... Yo, I don't want to give you the wrong idea. So let me show you what I got going. First, I want to show you my artwork. You need a lifetime of patience to get to where you want to go. And as you're practicing your patience, you know you are exactly where you want to be. I don't know why I got it like that just now. But anyway, I have two big boxes here, right? Now, it looks like there's a lot of stuff in here, but it's really just big items. One of the boxes is a microphone stand because I need a microphone stand for my life setup so I can sing and have my guitar. The other box is actually a table so I can put my turntable on there so I can actually, you know, play my records into my MPCX. So let me show you my MPCX area. So this is my MPCX area. If you don't remember, I did a whole setup video about this area. I'll actually leave that in the card as well. But right here, I got my MPCX, I got some monitors. Um, right here, I did have a turntable, but I figure I have this turntable now. So I'm gonna connect this turntable, this Audio Technico over here to this mixer and have this mixer potentially go into the MPC. I don't know how I'm gonna route it yet because I did get a mixer as well, so I might put it into the mixer and then put the mixer into the MPC. But right here next to the table, there's a space. So I'm gonna put a table in that space. So that's what, what the other box was. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff I got, but it's really only a couple things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that up right here. And you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and stop the recording and do that and I will show you what that is whenever I get the table set up. This is what I'm working with. So this is actually a Gator, this is actually Gator Frameworks. All right, so it's this little stand here. Got my turntable and my mixer on it, all right? And there's even a little bit more room. Now, obviously this isn't gonna fit two turntables on it, but for my purposes of sampling and potentially scratching, this actually works nice. And let me get this on here more even. I'm trying to show you, if you can see the turntable feet are here so they're clearly on the stand in here as well so I think this is going to work out now the question is is it going to move a lot um, it looks feels like it might have a little bit of wobble if I actually like move it but I think if I'm actually just turning the record it's it feels like it might be some steadiness to it man because if you look, this is what it looks like down here. We got this locking mechanism, you can see that. So you would just pull that, and there's these like teeth that lock together. So you, when you get in the position, you just close it. Again, this is Frameworks by Gator. 
Hackstack Knox sponsor. I just picked this up because it was relatively inexpensive. I mean, it was over 100 bucks, but not much over. And I got it on Amazon. It was just shipped today. As you saw, that was the box for it. That's the box it came in. This is the box I just opened it out of. Right here. That's the setup. Um, I'm gonna run some cables to this. And run some cables out of here. I might plug the turntable directly into the MPC because the MPC does have this knob here and that's a direct monitor. So I can make some beats on here, right? I can plug it right into here, sample right from the turntable, make some beats, and then practice scratching over top of the beat with the direct monitoring. And then I got my speakers right here so I can listen to everything. And uh, we're pretty much set up. Now I need to get this set back up. So I got my synth here. So I'm gonna run MIDI out of my MPC in the here. And then I did buy a mixer, so that's the next thing I gotta deal with today. Right here. This right here is my mixer. All right, this is the uh, Yamaha MG06. I'll leave a link for all these in the description if you did wanna find out more information about it. But um, I gotta put my mixer over here because I have these, and I have this, and I have that. And that's pretty much gonna be it. And I did pick up these cables for it. So these are the Hosa Pro Reens. Um, they just looked like they had some nice balanced um, ends there. And it's a stereo cable. It's got the red in the, I mean, you can't really see it. See, it's got the uh, stereo. So it's got this end and it has the other end. And um, I'll go ahead and plug that probably into the MPC or from here. I, I have to figure out my cable situation, but I am gonna use these kind of test them out. This is gonna be the setup over here for like, for coming up with beats from the turntable. So that's what I'm gonna use this situation for. All right, so now that I got that set up, what I wanna show you now is this mic stand. If you look here, I got my Shure on here. All right, so you know, this is the, this is the Beta 58A. Now this mic microphone is supposed to be good for live. It's supposed to prevent some feedback and stuff. I actually got that microphone bundle with this and that foot pedal. I've been experimenting with that foot pedal, with the Boss foot pedal to activate things on my RC505. All right, now this is gonna be my live setup and it's also for creation. If I feel like standing up and just making something, I could do that here. But this is ultimately gonna be my live setup. So I got this for beats and sequencing. I got this for live guitar looping. You know, I got my mixer, uh, my polysynth and my monosynth. Okay, and this is for extra sampling and um, processing of, of effects. Now, I think it would have been cool to have a boom stand for my guitar, but I think this should be fine though because I can move it out of the way or I could pull it over here. I could put it you know, in different areas in the room and be fine. But if I'm not using it, I just put it right there. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start writing songs and then I'm going to figure out ways to perform them live. And then I'm going to be able to record those on my task cam. I know I don't share a lot of my music on here yet. I'm working on some things because I'm going to start sharing more music uh, because I want to release a couple EPs and stuff like that. But I'm working on things. There's a method to my madness. I'm trying to get everything set up. Everything is pretty much set up. Like I got my course out on the website that I was telling you about, you know, like a month ago, I was telling you I was working on that. Now that that's finished, it's on the website, people are starting to come into it. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing next, as far as music wise, is I'm gonna get on my MPC one over here and I'm gonna make a crap ton of beats. I already have a bunch of beats, but I, I wanna make some fresh ones. And then I wanna start putting out EPs and I'll start putting them on Spotify and I'm gonna start you know, letting people hear them. That's the plan, all right? And honestly, like, I'm super excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Music! Like, I'm stoked about it. Because I'm the type of person, I gotta be making stuff. If I'm not making something, I'm just not happy. You know, it just, stuff is off. If I'm not being creative and making stuff, it's like I was made to make. You know what I mean? I was created to create. So I'm gonna start creating, you know? Continue creating music. You know what I'm saying? So um, over here, I got my MPC-1. I'm gonna keep smashing out beats on that. I'm actually about to do a beat video on that in a minute here. 
Uh, but before I do that, I want to do the unboxing video of that mixer I was showing you. I'm going to unbox that mixer. Then I'm going to do a couple videos on the MPC-1. Don't let anybody tell you that I'm not loving it. If you start thinking, oh, he's not having fun, take that thought right out of your brain. Because this is a blast, dude. There's nothing better than making stuff and putting it out there and having people watch it and appreciate it. And I love helping people out. And I love that my videos are helping people. And you know, I want to put more videos where I can help more people and just help as many people as I can. Because to me, that's part of the process is to continue to help people. And if you didn't see the interview I did with Pete Johns in Studio Live today, check out that video. I'll leave a link up in the um, in the info bar. And that way you could check that out. You know, always check the info bars. I'll leave some videos up there. Yo, we're getting this thing going. We're getting the ball rolling, y'all. Let's continue making music. Let's continue to build together. I'm just so excited about this whole process right now. Super excited about this. What's good? I just did an unboxing video of my Yamaha right here. Um, I'm probably going to use this for my MPC X and my turntable. So that's probably what I'm going to use that for. I'm going to upload that footage onto my computer. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, finish trying to set up this mixer in the other room. So yeah, this is a fun day so far. I'm going to upload that footage, hook this up, and then I'm going to start working on my MPC one videos. Yeah. So that was CJ Free Beats on Instagram. She goes live on there every now and again, and we're supposed to be doing a collab this week. I popped in on her. I said, hey, I'm working on your sample. And she's like, oh yeah, um, I said this week, it'll be this week. So she should be working on it soon. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my MPC one going. I can't play for you what I'm gonna do because I want it to be a surprise for whenever I do come out with that video. So I finished making a sample for CJ Free Beat so she could flip it. But I had some hiccups, like the MPC one actually crashed, so I had to redo everything again. There's been a lot of hiccups over the past um, couple weeks, man. I've done so many videos that are just gonna get trashed because I messed something up or I didn't hit record. It's just, woo! But I'm still able to put out a lot of videos now. So I got this battle record and I haven't opened it up. I had one open that I was using but I really have no idea where I put it. I don't know how many months it's been, but it's been a long time. So whenever I unbox this, I probably scratched on this thing for three or four weeks, and then I just got busy, man. Now I'm about to get back on it. At least, you know, a little bit. I ain't trying to go crazy. I got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do right now. But every once in a while, it's good just to just let it loose, man. I learned some stuff, a couple little things, but I don't remember any of it. I'm just gonna put this record on there and then start moving the turntable. I ain't scared. Literally just open this up. No idea what's on it. I'm in my dining room, so you're gonna hear a refrigerator. These speakers are gonna blast it out. So I only have one of my speakers hooked up right now, but I got a beat on the MPC that I had been working on a while ago. I'm gonna throw this record on here, play that beat and see if I can scratch to it. I haven't done this in many, 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 many months. Let's do it anyway. I ain't scared. I, I got my turntable actually hooked up to this little mixer here. I got my turntable and my NPC hooked up to this. And again, I don't know any of these sounds. I don't even know if I'm gonna like these sounds. I want to get a different record, man. The last record I had was awesome. I don't know where that thing is at. I'm kind of upset about that. All right, yo, so I pulled this one out. We're going to go with this one. Let's see what's on this bad boy. Yeah. 
So I don't have this record marked. I had my other one marked, so I'm just trying to listen to the beginning of the cut here. So I kind of found a sound I like when I tried this on this beat. Alright y'all, I'm gonna call it a night. I need to get this footage onto the computer. Editing takes oh, quite a while to do, so I have, you know, 10, 12, I don't know how many videos at this point I need to edit. So I need to at least get a couple of them done for the next couple uploads. So I'm pretty much doing about four a week right now, three to four a week. Um, we'll see how long I can do that. Uh, you know, I do work full time, but I'm trying my best to put more content out there because I want to do it, really. I really like doing it. And because, you know, I just wanna help some people out, y'all. Now, this video might not help you out. It might help you out. I don't know. Hopefully, it helps you out some way. But I appreciate you for watching. My name's Matthew. I hope you continue to make music. Let's keep crushing it, y'all. Talk soon.